Welcome to Joy Junctique. I'm Rhonda, and today I am sharing my design team project for Sweet Pea Curiosities. And I am loving how it turned out. It was such a fun project. Um, I am a lover of all things Paris and French and, and that kind of stuff. So this just was right up my alley to create with this kit. She has several Paris kits. I'll link them all in the description below, all the ones that I use today. But this was just such a fun project. Um, I'll just get right into it and let you see what I did. To begin with, this is a look at the front. And I just laid this on top of the journal, so I'll take it out in a second and show you. There's a little tassel over here on the side, just some scrappy little fabric, ripped fabric and lace. This little star I made in another video where I showed um, how to make different ephemera just using cheap tin pull. So I'll link that uh, video below too. But this is just one of those that I had created that day in that video. And so I just thought it would be the perfect little accent to put, uh, to add to this. So this is just some sorry silk ribbon uh, that I wrapped around to close. And so on the back you can see where I used a sheet of the, it's actually plastic, but it looks like sealant tile and it comes from the dollar store. I think it has a sticky back maybe, um, but whenever I cut it to fit my journal, the sticky part just kind of separated from it. So I didn't have to worry about that. But all I did, it was just, uh, let me see if I can find a sheet of that. So this is what I used just a self-adhesive wall tile, but it's, it's like a plastic, so it's really easy to cut. So I just cut out the portion that I wanted to go around my journal, and then once I got it cut out, then I painted it with my gesso paint. I did a couple of coats, and then I just lightly sanded all of the, the accents that are standing up from it. So it would just like a, look like a natural um, just wear on it. So let me go ahead and untie so you can see what the front looks like. I'll show you this in just a second. So this is the front. Here's the other side of the, the rest of the ceiling tile that wraps around. And then I just added a little dually to the top that I had gotten at a, uh, just a flea market shop. I got several of those at that shop. Um, and then this is some of the ephemera from one of the kits I used. And I just stapled them together and then I glued them to the front. So before I get too much into the journal, let me show you this. I'll move this aside for a second. So this was a die that I used and let me show you that. So this is the Stamps of Life dressing screen card die set. And this is what it looks like. So I just cut one big base out of some uh, double-sided cardstock that I had. And then I used one of the, let's see, it's not on here, just a second. And then I used this piece, which goes right here. I used this piece to cut little panels out of the printables that she has of the Paris Paris kit so um, that's what I did for that so I just cut out several of those I actually cut out so I cut out two of these and then I overlapped so you have four panels on each so I overlapped the fourth panel and glued these two together so that gave me one two three four five six seven so I had seven panels and then I cut out uh, 14 different pieces to, to fit in there. 14 uh, pieces of the printables that I cut to put on each one. So I just kinda cut different things that I liked out of each one that would be pretty on here. And so I have this folded up to where this is the front on the journal, but I, you can actually fold it different ways to get whatever you want to show on the front. So there's a car the street, some buildings, the water, the tower, 
another little alleyway with flowers and then a little mm -hmm. table set and flowers and a tree. So this side is actually the more um, subdued, muted colors. So on this side, I use the brighter colors and they are gorgeous. Just look at that. And I just love, love, love how it all turned out. And so if you notice, there's little silver accents. So I just took my silver wax and went around all the edges of everything, each piece of these and each panel. So that way it just kind of made it pop. But I really, really like these, um, these designs. And so there's that. And it will actually stand up on its own. So you could just bend it whichever way you want, stand it up, and look at it all day long. So I just love it. And so you see I had um, the background for it is also, and I don't know if you can tell, but the background piece was just um, some double-sided cardstock that I had, a 12 by 12 piece, which worked perfect to use that die on um, because it was big enough to cut out the size that I needed. So 12 by 12 cardstock is what worked for this. And then once I cut out two different pieces of it, I overlapped the last piece on this one and the first piece on this one and glued them together so that they would be one continuous piece. Okay, so there's that. So that I just laid on the top and I'm calling this one um, trip to Paris so everything in here is kind of like um, kind of just references going on a trip to Paris and things that you would collect or bring home with you so our sites that you would see so before uh, we go too far into the, the journal I wanted to show you what I use for my base so when I went to uh, one of my favorite shops one of the booths had these little bags and I'm not sure if if they ordered them or made them or what you could easily make them but they're just little drawstring bags so I thought it would be so cool to make a little journal out of it and there's some kind of um, there's a piece of something stiff in here I guess to keep them uh, to keep them having their shape either that or it's See, it's inside out, so maybe that piece is to flip it right side out. But I kind of like just how it looks like this. Um, so I just ripped that piece out. I just wanted to see that um, on the outside of the journal. So I, I left it inside out. Because I like the, the shabby little seams and frayed edges showing. Then I just took a piece of cardstock, a really good thick piece of cardstock, and cut it to fit inside. And I scored it down the middle, um, two or three scores, so that it would have a little bit of, of leeway there to expand. So I did that and just put the cardstock in there um, so that it would have a really good stiff uh, shape to it. So I had the cardstock in there, and this makes a little pocket. And then once I got all my pages uh, that I, how I wanted them and ready to bind them in there, then I just went ahead and bound it through this layer, through the cardstock and this. And so that secured my pages, everything was together. And then I turned around and got my piece that I had painted, my little ceiling tile piece, and then I glued it over the top. So I went ahead and got everything sewn together first, and then I glued that to the top so that it would kind of cover this and secure it and I knew I would never probably get a needle through this without it ripping or tearing or um, it just may not go through it at all anyway. So I just, uh, I decided to do everything first and then I went back and glued this over the top and decorated the front. So that's how I put that together. And then you also have a divider in here. So here's the little piece of cardstock. So I have a pocket here, which I just put some of this little ephemera. And then on the other side, I cut out one of the envelopes from one of the kits, 
and I added just this little floral circle that looks really cute there. It kind of looks like a seal, a sticker seal. So I folded it up and then I printed out another page from a different kit that was really pretty just to use as a little card to put inside. So that, and then also I used my little decal, um, I guess that's how you say it. I have a, a Tim Holtz cutter that cuts this jagged edge. So that's what I use for that. So that slips back in there and back down in this little divided pocket. Okay, so when you open up, I had some little French um, vocabulary cards. So this is the English side, but here's the French side. And then underneath those, I just kind of glued in a little pocket, a little tuck spot. And behind it, I have this little card. I added a little tiny embellishment with lace and just something that I punched out with my little circle punch. Here, I just took some of the ephemera and some lace, little scraps of fabric, and just stapled it together, and then I glued it down on the page. That's just coffee dye paper from my collection. Here's some more of the pages that I printed off. I tried to put them to where the inside would be blank, so that would be a good journaling spot. So here I just have a little glassine bag it's, uh, it's paper clipped on. I stamped it with one of my stamps to say Paris. And on the inside is just all of these little tiny stamps that are so stinking cute. So I just wanted to include those in there because I don't know about everybody else, but I love to collect stamps. So, so I just thought it'd be cute to add those in. And I cut those with my pinking shears so you get that little stamp looking edge. So that just goes back under that paper clip. French book pages that have actually been written in. Everything in here um, is from one of her kits other than the book pages and coffee dyed papers. So everything uh, you can get in her shop through her little um, by buying her digitals and she's got a ton of them so many cute ones this is just a little ephemera card that tucks down behind there here's just a polka dotted a little pink polka dot glassine bag that I folded in half so we have two sides to it um, this was a die cut it's like a bag topper that looks like a dolly. This is just a little piece of ephemera from the kit. And so inside I used another die that I have that cuts this shape out. And it opens up to another seam. So I'll just fold that back up. And put that back down in the bag. There I just fussy cut that and glued that to that page. This, I just made another little tuck spot for another little ephemera card. This is one of my embossing folders. Looks like lace, looks like a, a dually. This was a French uh, literature, like a school book. So I just tore out a piece, a page of that and then glued this on here with some little lace. This is actually just a piece of lace. I think it was actually like a boot cuff or something, but I just um, just cut the seam out of it and used it as a book page. So I just added this little doily, a little flower to the center with a pearl, and there's a cute little piece of ephemera. And on the back side, 
I just needed to kind of cover where I glued the other side. So I put them back to back with this little cameo. And this was just a price tag. And I just kind of stapled a few little things to it to make it look nice and scrappy. So that hangs there. This I just made a little belly band out of this little mini envelope. And I tucked this cute little girl in there. This was another envelope that I just made a little tuck spot with. And I have this cute little girl in there. So here's another little corner tuck. It says flower seeds. And so I just made this bookmark to go in there. Um, another one of those scenes. This is a coffee filter. I just folded it up and there was a fan in one of the kits. So I just let it follow the lines of the coffee filter and glued it here and glued it down the center. So I have another little pocket in front of that coffee filter. And it also just kind of secures the coffee filter a little better. So in this pocket, I have this card. And then we have a Paris picture. And on this side, I have this card. And we have this little picture. Okay, so when you turn the page here, I just stamped ooh la la. This is another tuck spot with a little index card. This is the other side of that lace. And so I just made a little cluster here with some pretty ephemera. More pages to write on. This is the other side of that book page, the literature, uh, the school book. And so I just added a little corner piece here. Save this for journaling. And then there's the other side of that fuel car. Here's the other side of that embossed piece. This is another stamp. And on this side, I just made a little hidden journaling spot and added a little piece of lace to the top. This is the other side of that bag, and I just glued the little word that says correspondence. And so in here, I have a little postcard that folded up into an envelope. And inside that is some more of those index cards. They're so cute. And these are doubled, so they're nice and thick. So they just slip right back into that envelope and tuck on the side of the bag. And inside is another little postcard. Now here, I just took a little piece of lace off of some kind of dress, and then I sewed this little dangle on it. I think it was an old earring. So I just sewed that to it. And then this piece of ephemera just tucks down in there. And I just used a little piece of old brown paper in there too. I just like the texture it puts in and the crinkle sound. So here's another piece that I just made a little pocket out of. So inside of it is this sweet little rose card. So it just tucks down in there. 
here was some tickets in one of the kits. So I just added them with a paper clip at the top. And this is the other side of that coffee dyed paper and I just made a little tuck pocket on the side of it. Added this piece and then tucked in another little card. And then here, I just added this tiny little piece to make another little corner spot, little crown uh, charm. And this was from another one of the kits that I just love, and I love this image. So it tucks right there. And in the very back pocket, we just have a couple more of these cards. And they just tucked them in there. This was another piece of embossed paper with a dually embossing holder I have. And there's the back. So I think it turned out really nice. I love the feel of this ceiling tile piece on here. It really sturdies it up and it, it gives it a very substantial feel so I really like that um, and then just add this to the top and I just wrap this around just to hold it in place like that and so that is the trip to Paris junk journal I hope you enjoyed that because I really enjoyed making it and I hope to see you soon I'll see you in the next video God bless